So here recently I had the luxury of getting a flight from Columbus International Airport down to Orlando International Airport to go to Disney World on or Disney World on vacation. And it was the first flight that I've ever been on. It was a Southwest flight that from Columbus to Orlando had Wi Fi on the plane. Now it was like eight dollars per device, but I was like, eh, you know, it's a two hour flight, I'll try it out. And I, I got on my phone and I got to mess around, I got to browse the internet and everything. Now it actually was routed all the way through a satellite to California, so that, that was kind of strange. But it was really, really interesting to be able to use Wi-Fi on a plane. And it really had an epiphany moment for me. I was like, man, I am like some like 25,000 plus feet up in the air, and I am able to browse the internet on my phone inside a plane. And it just it blew my mind. The fact that you know we're so technologically advanced we can do stuff like this. You know, the, the, the idea that I'm flying on a plane that's most likely on autopilot, even crazier, you know, but it's Wi-Fi a big thing. And it was kind of weird. I, I came back on the retrieving flight, and I had my iPad out, and you know, I was going to use pay for my iPad at that time, and that flight did not have Wi-Fi installed yet. And you know, I had my iPad, but most of my games require internet. And I don't download too many games, because I don't really play that many games on my iPad. And me and my dad were sitting side by side, and I'm like, hey, let's play a couple games. Well, I only had, like, one game. I had checkers. And I was like, oh, we can just go to the App Store and download some more. Oh, wait, I can't. There's no Wi-Fi. And that's a situation where Wi-Fi was so awesome. I could have just went and downloaded another game, and we could have sent there, sat there and played a game. I think it, we, we wasted like an hour playing checkers. Yeah, checkers on my iPad. It was just a way to pass the time, make time fly faster, since we're flying in a plane. And it was just really cool. And I think, you know, as these planes all get upgraded and they all have Wi-Fi in it, this is going to be a big thing. I think it's pretty cool. I think, you know, as cities roll out these, these Wi-Fi's in their cities, you know, schools, hospitals all start getting public Wi-Fi that their citizens and customers can use. Wi-Fi is really taking over because it is allowing citizens to get connected wherever they're at. And they're not using their 3G plans, which as we all know and disagree with, they have their data caps, which are set like at 2 gigabytes. And if any of you are like me and you just use your phone regularly every day, you can easily go over that and if you don't connect to Wi-Fi. So wherever I go, I always connect to Wi-Fi, you know, usually free Wi-Fi. I don't pay for the Wi-Fi. Um, I always like how hotels have Wi-Fi and stuff. So you can offset that data usage onto their Wi-Fi and not use up your 3G plan. So this is just my opinion of, you know, aircraft having Wi-Fi built in now. I think it's a pretty awesome thing, and I think it's changing the world of how we communicate. Thanks for watching.